Hey guys, what's happening? We are live. How's it going? I'm Gary. I'm Lisa. Hey, our top story today is why should you sell your investment property right now? Are you a real estate investor who's owned a property for five, 10, maybe 20 years, and you're thinking now might be the time to sell it? The answer to that question is yes. Absolutely, now's the time to sell it. And the reason being? Price and demand for investment property has never been higher. There's a lot of factors for that. We think right now with the demand and the prices being so high, it's an absolute excellent time to get out of your investment property and let's say buy another investment property. That's right. So how do you do that? You might want to do that using a 1031 exchange. What's a 1031 exchange, Lise? A 1031 exchange <laughs> is when you trade an investment property or business from a, that, not, so not your home, into another like property, like kind. So another business um, or an investment property, raw land, several things qualify uh, for a 1031 exchange, yeah. but that's kind of the general. Yeah, it's kind of the general. You got 180 days to close the property after you close your investment property. Investment property closed, you got 180 days to close your new property. And the little caveat that's the, that's the stickler right now is you have 45 days to identify a property in writing from when your property closes that you want a 1031 and roll the money into tax-free. So that is a challenge. Given the challenging market right now, there is also an opportunity where you could do a reverse exchange. Reverse exchange would be you buy the property you want to end up with, buy that first, and then you come back and sell your other property. And it's still a 1031 exchange. It's just called a reverse exchange. Yeah, if you have a tenant that's been in a property for a long time and you haven't done uh, rent increases and you don't want to do a rent increase on a long-term tenant, um, and by the way, rents have gone way up if you haven't kept up with what's going on in the rental market, um, then maybe now's the time to sell the property. We heard of a tenant getting a 500% rent increase. Now that's a rent increase. Yes, that was a commercial situation and they are scrambling. I mean, that's a big rent increase. <laughs> yeah, that, that changes your budget there uh, immediately. Right, so it's they are scrambling for sure. Um, and then maybe you have a you have a tenant that's been in a property for a long time and they've given you notice and you don't want to deal with it. You don't want to do the repairs that the property needs. There's always repairs. Anytime a tenant leaves, you got to come in and do a turn. So either you're going to clean the carpets or replace the carpets. You're going to paint the walls, repair, even if they're nail holes, you're still going to repair the, the holes in the wall and get it ready. And maybe you don't want to deal with finding new tenants. That's just, you don't want to deal with that right now. Um, maybe if you live out of state, you don't want to be an absentee owner. Uh, or maybe you don't want to deal with California taxes. Because I think, <laughs> aren't we winning? <laughs> yes, I yeah, I think we won that race. <laughs> um, or you don't want to deal with the California tenant laws that are very, very tenant friendly. Yes, and complex. Oh my gosh, they change them at least twice a year, sometimes more often, and they never in favor of the landlord. Right, so though, and maybe, um, yeah, you just are done. You don't want to deal with it. So uh, those are all reasons that you might want to sell an investment property right now while the demand and the prices are so, so high. So what's uh, happening in the market this week? <laughs> well, the market is changing very quickly. We're out there every single day looking at homes and prices and investment properties. We're landlords ourselves. The market has changed let's say in the last three days? Yeah, definitely have seen, a, um, it's interesting because we haven't had, you know, we have bro broker caravan every week and there haven't been a lot of homes on. And this morning um, there were 15 houses on caravan. Now there used to be, you know, 20, 30 houses on caravan on a Thursday would be typical, um, but we've had none or one or two. And today we had 15. So that was a big jump in houses on caravan and then in, in our meeting this morning that i do every thursday with all the top producing agents um, there have been listings come on in the la in the last this week uh, that have not gotten offers yet that's highly unusual mm -hmm. so people won't put a property on a broker caravan if it's got an accepted offer or they've got multiple offers on the property already 
it, there's really no point in it. You know, if you're looking at five, 10 offers on a property and you want to put it on broker's caravan, why would you do that? I mean, it's basically sold. So to see 15 properties on, I mean, there wasn't too long ago, there was barely 15 properties for sale in our whole region here. Right. So it's just crazy um, that it's turned so quickly. And the other little piece of um, change in the market is the interest rates. So we were doing a scenario this morning where the interest rate on this particular set of facts of the scenario, the interest rate was 2.99 in October of 21. And here we are sitting at March 31st of 2022. And that same scenario, the rate would be 4.75. That's close to two points in about six months time. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's phenomenal move. Now, of course, as an investment property, you get to take all that into account on the way you write off, what's a write off, you know, that's, oh, that's a write off, but your accountant can figure that out. We're not accountants, but there is a lot of advantageous advantages to buying a, <laughs> <laughs> advantageous advantages, advantages like that, that. Are, how about advantages that are advantageous <laughs> to uh, buying a property and selling a property right now. It's just the market is red hot, but we do see some signs of cooling. Mm -hmm. And I mean, those signs are when the last two to three days. Right. So we'll see what happens in the next ooh, couple of weeks. <laughs> it is spring break. Pe people have spring break coming and going here. We're heading into e uh, Easter, um, but definitely have seen a little bit of a shift in the last couple of days. So we'll see what happens and see where the trend lines go because it has been straight up and to the right as fast as that line can move for the last two years. Yes, and we're even seeing people discounting properties in the last couple of days and people making lower offers than list price. List price used to be, okay, that's a great place to start. It seems like within the last 48 hours, that may be the price. Yeah, we'll see. There's a, <laughs> I saw a flip property come on this morning that we haven't seen a lot of that because the prices have been growing, but there just hasn't been a lot that was available to flip. And one I just saw came on, they did it really quickly, 60 days and replaced everything. So we'll see, I am going to run by and look at it this afternoon. Um, but you haven't seen a lot of that in this market much. Uh, so it's, it's always fun. I always like to see what they've done that quick. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it doesn't take long if you got the crews and you can get the supplies. I mean, if you need right. new windows and can't get them, right. that's going to slow you down. Yeah. So I'm curious. So anyway, that's what's going on in the market today. And if you have an investment property you want to talk about, we love to talk about it. And we are looking for investment property for our investors. Um, maybe you've inherited a property. We always love to talk about real estate. That's our job. Give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email. Visit us at GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thanks, guys.